All right, Mauro, thank you very much. Canelo, congratulations on unifying the championship. How would you assess how you fought this evening? Bueno, Trudo es un peleador zurdo muy inteligente, pero hicimos lo mejor de, de nosotros, hicimos más inteligencia que él, más rápidos. Entre más, entre más bueno sea mi rival, mejor voy a ser yo. Austin Trout is a very difficult fighter, he's a southpaw, but we were more intelligent in this fight today, and the better the opponent is, the better he will get. You said that the speed would be the difference. In the outcome, do you feel that was the difference? That's it, the velocity was definitely a factor in today's fight, and he's saying if the opponent is here, he's going to fight over that opponent, sir. Uh, what did you learn about yourself tonight? This was the best fighter who you faced. ¿Qué aprendiste en el día de hoy con el mejor boxeador que ha peleado? Muchísimo. Trudeau es un peleador muy difícil. Aprende mucho de esta pelea. Me va a dar más experiencia. Y estoy listo para los mejores. Aquí estoy. El Canelo va para rato. Definitely, um, he learns from his opponents. He's learned from his experience today. And once he fights the better fighters, he's going to keep learning even more. And Canelo's here for a long time. Coming into this fight, he would said. The revenge for your brother, Hermano, was very important. This is for my hermano. Say it in English. This is for my brother. This is for my brother. Was that a big factor in tonight's fight? Is it a factor determinant in the fight today? Yes, it's a great, great motivation for this. And and as I said, at the end of the fight, winning this championship. This is for my hermano. Yes, it was definitely a big motivation for this fight. And finished the fight, he said that that was going to be for his brother. Es mi sangre y dije que lo iba a vengar. Por mi sangre hago todo. It's he's my blood, and he was going to uh, avenge the uh, loss. Canelo, can you tell us what happened in the sixth round? It seemed as though he had hit you with a good body shot the round before, but then in the sixth round, you knocked down Austin Trout for the first time to become the first man, seventh round, pardon me, for the first time in his career. ¿Qué pasó en el sexto round? Que él te dio un, como un buen golpe, pero viniste en el séptimo y después lo pudiste noquear. No, no, este, fue un poquito abajo, eh, me dolió un poquito la, la pierna, no quise decirle a mi esquina, pero, pero todo está bien. Yo hice mi trabajo y me sentí muy bien, gracias a Dios. On that Austin Trout, he found it, he thought it was a little low, and he didn't tell the corner that his leg was uh, bothering him a little bit, but finally he uh, rose to the occasion and won the fight. This in front of 40,000 fans in San Antonio. Not in your home country, but this was your home venue. They were all for you this evening. What does that mean to you? It significa hacerlo aquí, no en México, sino frente a 40 mil fanáticos en San Antonio. Mucho. Estoy muy agradecido con toda esta gente. Siempre lo he dicho desde que empecé mi carrera me han arropado muy bien. Por eso me preparo siempre. Por eso me preparo siempre para dar lo mejor de mí y que la gente salga satisfecha siempre. Porque tengo una gran responsabilidad que son todos ellos. He has a big responsibility and he's very grateful for the fans that came out here to San Antonio to see this fight and that's why he motivates and prepares himself every time. I know your English is getting much better. I think you can answer this one in English. Are you ready to fight and would you like to fight Floyd Mayweather next? I hope so. Maybe, maybe. Viva Mexico!